The Horker Armada comes. Oh, yeah. Look at them smacking down each other. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let them fight. Let's make sure you stay grounded here, bud. Look at this. Oh! Oh, who was that? Who was that? Oh my god, who was that? That wasn't Karja, was it? Oh my god, they got back up! They got back up! Is that Karjo the man? Oh my god, Karjo! When we had last left, the last dragonborn, they went off and fought a pirate captain. Yes, the pirate captain of the Red Wave up in Solitude, whose name was something. <laughs> but either way, none of her scurvy crews seemed to really care that she was just obliterated by the Dark Brotherhood. They didn't really seem to mind. It was, it was pretty wild. But nonetheless, after all of that, they traveled up into the mountains where they went into a cool ancestor glade and got some moth wings and then also saw yeah that's right Agni Agni who gave them some archery training but not really but in another life it would have been archery training <laughs> now it was time to return to Nazir to turn in their pirate quest and then head up north to the other Skyrim Dark Brotherhood sanctuary to hunt down Cicero, the Fool of Hearts. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Welcome back. Joop. Now, also, let's see here. Gentle viewers, Zython88, Lisa, Grim, Oir, 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 Mean Bosma, all wrote in, sorry as well, they all wrote in confirming that in fact, that uh, Ancestor Glade is a part of Dawnguard, as uh, was our suspicion. Also, gentle viewers Peter and... <gasps> someone, a user without a name. Entirely creepy, a user without a name, which I can only articulate as... <gasps> wrote in and said that, in fact, we should give a second look over here to the bedside table because there may well be oh a treasure map inside wow okay there we go which we still definitely need to do all of those at some point I think uh, I kind of like the idea of holding off on doing all of them until we've collected them all and then we just sort of like go out of our way to go do them all at once that way it's easier to keep in mind like okay yeah we've done them all right rather than like oh gosh Hemming and hawing, oh, did I do this one? Did I not do this one? I don't know. Right. It sort of hopefully gets rid of that issue. Anyway, let's be on our way back over here to the sanctuary. Oh, and before I forget, good lord. Let us call upon the power of old Lucian. There we are. Good. Whoops. Good. And then... Get Sunder back. Perfect. We'll do a quick save as well. In case we die trying to get down here. Using the fast method. Okay. Hmm. As a matter of fact. Don't let nothing hold you back. If the scat man can do it, brother, so can you. <laughs> what, what I'm about to do is... Do we have any Netch jelly? Let's see. Not in the dark. Okay. Still, I guess we could try to become ethereal and just leap our way down. Right? We could try that. Ask yourself, do you trust the wisdom of our lady? Hmm. I'm Tika! Alright, here we go. Good. Oh yeah, look, we got plenty of time to get our our ass down here. Worst case, we go somewhere we're not supposed to be and it just like instantly crashes the game. 
I'm completely bracing for that potentiality. But it looks like we're home free. Huh. Perfect timing as well. Also, in real life, apologies as well. This may be a problem as it occurs. It may crop up. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but basically, this is just a forewarning. Steal yourselves for the the horrors that lie ahead for for the video making process. My dear sweet partner has come down with some sort of horrendous sore throat situation and it's pretty it's pretty rough. So now we're in kind of a lie in wait moment to see how my immune system will hold up against this. So far a little runny nose, a little sneezy here and there, but so far so good. We'll see how, how it all pans out at the end of the day, right? Or at the end of however long. Oh shit. Oh god, what a fool I am. Okay, hang on. Look, we've got so many strength potions and junk. It's time to use a few, right? And eat some salmon while we're at it. But yeah, bear all this in mind just as well. If you hear like what sounds like a ghost, in the distance, maybe like sneezing or coughing or something like that. That's what that is. Don't worry. Do not adjust your monitor or your phone or your screen or anything. Whatever device you're watching this on. It is not a ghost. Lest we all forget the lessons imparted unto us in the humble and quaint town. Yes, that same one at the foothills of the throat of the world. Iverstead and what fell upon those kindly folks there they were deceived by a ghost we must, we must not let the same occur to us I don't know why I'm elaborating so much on it but fuck I'm loving it I don't know the exposition I live for it let's head on in here <laughs> all right here we are good let's go see Nazir who is still Standing in shock at what has befallen Vizara. Look at this. Everyone here, skilled killers, murderers in their own right, really apt at murdering people and creating poisons, magics for killing, various like techniques of the blade and of sneaking around and using long range archery to kill people. But nobody can heal poor Vizara. Such is the curse they bear. <laughs> Wait, hang on. If I do heal, heal Vizara, hang on. That's actually a good point. What if I... <laughs> what if I do do it? Okay. Hang on. Check this out, Vizara. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic. So they say. No, it's not. It's completely useless. <laughs> Nothing happened! Nothing happened! No wonder everybody position. says that to Colette. Nothing happens. It does nothing. Ask yourself, do you trust the wisdom? Fuck off. Of All right. Lady? Nazir. Sure figure the little lunatic would completely snap. Well, guess what? I've also snapped Sophia in half and like annihilated her. By Sithis, now I am truly impressed. To kill a pirate captain on our own I ship, no less. Simply masterful. So You've not only earned your payment, but my respect as well. Our and believe me, friend, does that does not, not come easily. This. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. Hey! But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? Whoa, is that reactivity to our current point in the quest? Or does he always say that? Because I guess that's always true, right? You know, you've got people to kill. Also, my did you hear what Lucian said? To it. Be hmm. just what this sanctuary needs. Now, also, it's worth mentioning that um, a shitload of people, like tons of people, do not want me to kill Cicero, <laughs> which means I gotta kill. <laughs> No, we're not going to kill him. In my first playthrough, way back in the day, way back when Skyrim Land first came out and whenever it was that I decided to do the Dark Brotherhood quest arc and all of that, 
I did kill his ass. I did completely kill his ass. I did that entirely. Oh, here. We can get rid of this uh, terrible Within hunting bow. the dark That'll brotherhood. But, um, yeah, I murdered, I murdered the hell out of him at this confrontation. Right? I'm not exactly sure how it goes down. I guess you get, like, a moment to speak or whatever beforehand. But we'll, we'll spare him, right? Such is the way of uh, this entire playthrough. I've been trying to go pretty much against the grain from how I did with all of my initial choices way back when. And way back when, I, uh, I killed him. I killed him. I didn't get the journals. I killed him. Right? Certainly reading the journals and having Lucian out, it's a very cool way to sort of get... I don't know. Oh, yeah, see here. But there is a disturbance in the void. Disturbance in the void. Get out. Wish this. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of a fun way to to like have a I don't know reasoning built to not kill this person. A combination of the of Lucian speaking to you and also you know all the journals. But like I said as well, way back in the day, I never got the journals. Look, perfect opportunity. This this works out so freaking well. Beautiful. I thought I almost screwed it up by going into third person, but nope. Nailed it. Yeah, let's fly off. Up and away. Good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Man, the Jarl's building is quite impressive. Look at... It's like a three-story building. Huh. I never really noticed it while down there. Yeah, it's, it's like enormous. The entire town is like built around it. Goodness. It makes the cemetery look tiny in comparison. Okay, I, I have to assume that the cemetery is meant to be way bigger, right? Okay, Dawnstar Sanctuary. Should we approach from Dawnstar or just immediately go there? I can't remember if there's like a trail of blood or anything leading out to it. I almost want to say there is a trail leading to it. So we'll go to Dawnstar and then just sort of make our way up. As you command, Muda Alright, here we are. Oh, look at these giants over by the Christmas friend. The Saturnalia dude. Look at all this shit. Look, they're completely taking over. They're trying to destroy Saturnalia. <laughs> Look, he's running out of the camp and everything. Is he gonna get killed? Look at him right there. Oh shit. What the fuck? It's the dragon. Oh my gosh, what are they fighting over there? Is it a hunter? Holy hell, they're beating the shit out of someone. Who is that? Oh wow, they're all lighting up as red now. Are they bandits or something? Can they, like, ruin Christmas? Look at this dickhead. Wait. What the fuck? Hey, who the fuck is this dragon? Wait, this is a different dragon back here. Whoa! Oh my god! What the fuck is going on at Dawnstar, man? Clear skies here. It's getting too cold. Look at this. What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Look, there's the legendary dragon still, like, fighting the entire town. I guess we better quick save and try to kill. I don't think we have any other business up here, so, you know, hey, if someone gets eaten at this point, look, it's fine. We're in the Dark Brotherhood quest arc and everything. If, if they die, they die. You're leaving now? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just leave me to fight the legendary dragon. Why not? Okay. Oh, wait. Are you actually staying for a bit? Oh, God. Where's this dude fucking off to? 
Whoa! Okay. Asshole, look at this. Going all the way to, like, the tip of this peninsula? Here we go. Look, I can't even look over here, really. What's going on over here? Look at this. There's chaos over here. These giants are running around everywhere. Are they now fighting the dragon, too? Shit, it looks like it. Look at this. Horker resisted dragon run. Man, the Horkers are in on it, too, now. Look at that, they're all lighting up and everything. Holy shit, did you see me bob and weave the hell out of that? Oh shit. Oh god, look at these giants right behind us, ready to fuck my day up. Oh, iron ore. Holy fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> look at poor car show go! Wow, look, that giant is like wearing clothes. Like extra clothes. Jesus, man! Let's make it keep happening. I, I wanna see what will happen here. It's such a melee, you know? <laughs> what is this, Riften? <laughs> okay. Let's do another quick save just in case I die. Look, it's fine if anybody else here gets fucked up and dies. But me? We can't have- Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, perfect! Hit the tr- Wow! Another one! Back-to-back -back special, baby! Who's next? Oh, hey, get your ass back down here! I want more! <laughs> Fuck yes! Look at the Horkers now rolling in, too! Fuck yeah! The Horker Armada comes! Oh, yeah. Look at them smacking down each other. Look at that! Oh, yeah, let them fight. Let's make sure you stay grounded here, bud. Look at this. Oh! Oh, who was that? Who was that? Oh, my God, who was that? That wasn't Karja, was it? Oh my god, they got back up! <laughs> they got back up! Is that Karsho the man? Oh my god, Karsho! Holy fuck! Oh my god, salute Karsho! Holy shit! Damn, I knew Khajiit like loved celestial bodies like the two moons and shit, but damn, Karsho's taking it next level. <laughs> Fucking A. Okay. Jeez. Let's head on over here. Okay, the dragon is definitely grounded. Dude, the dragon is winning, I think. Against like, ev well, I guess everybody is just fighting nonstop. <laughs> Fucking hell, ah. show. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck off, dude. Come on. Won't someone kill this dragon? I guess I have to. Okay. Everybody else seems to be a different kind of fucked up right now. Who is this? Our game parable? Oh, it's Mr. Saturnalia. Look at him go. Dude, I can't believe Carshell. He, he really fucking went. <laughs> He's, he's so shocked about it, too. He, he's not even moving. He's not even leaving the area. He's just completely stunned to have survived it. Like, Karsho is now looking down at his own hands. You know, he's like tripping balls. He's like, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> Who is fighting now? Is it the Horkers? Oh, it's the Horkers. Or maybe it's Koznak, I can't even tell now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bring back the dragon music! <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh my gosh. Everybody pushes me around. Fucking well, no. Skyrim owns, dude. What a fucking awesome game. <laughs> God. The hits keep coming. 
Oh my gosh. Well, that's all she wrote. Okay. You have anything to say about that, friend? Akari? The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Karja was trying to get a first class flight back. <laughs> so many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. Mm. May your road lead you to Oh look, Lucin. Yeah, I, I don't even know where Lucin was for like... Two thirds of that brawl. <laughs> Look at fucking Cosmonaut Carjo out here. Yo. What is up, he intrepid forward, explorer? But Kajit feels warmness from your presence. The keeper is a need something? With My God. I hope that you will come with us again. Ask yourself. Are you even going to be able to get back, Carjo? Like. Like, is your pathing now com Like, does he just live out here now? <laughs> like, he went so far that he disappeared from our, like, what view distance, our render distance. He escaped the atmosphere. <laughs> he came back down in, like, a blaze of fire. Amazingly, all of his fur intact. It's, it's the steel armor, right? It was made by Yorlin Greymane or some shit. <laughs> okay. There we are. Let's take all this junk. Should we take the other giant's toe? I guess. Our dread father does not wish this. How about here? A Daedric dagger? Oh. I'll leave it. Alright. Wow. Were there any, like, important casualties? Like, I know the Imperial soldiers got fucked up, but they're a dime a dozen, you know? Yeah, I think we're good. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. I loved it. Fantastic. Okay, let's head on back. Who is this? Who is this shirtless man? Lawn, oh, of course. Protect us. Ain't much else to I tell. hope we do not encounter one of them on the road. I suppose if we do, we will find out just how fast each of us can drown. Dude, you don't even need to worry about it. You do not need to be faster than the dragon. You need only be faster than your friends. Oh. Of course, Khajiit would have an old saying about dragons like that. Of course Khajiit would, because the Elsewhere expansion for ESO. Right? Khajiit have, like, a storied history with dragons, in a sense. Okay. Love it. Alright, well, let's head on back over here. I do also wonder, I've never played the, the Elsewhere stuff. Do Khajiit also have, like, their own order of professional dragon slayers or anything? Or, like, dragonologists? Look, Karsho's finally heading back home. He's had enough time, like, contemplating at the sea. <laughs> cool. Well, there was no trail of, like, blood or notes or anything. Belamont and the great treachery of Jaden Hall. Kilibor's mother... And vengeance festers in the sun. I thought it would shut him up. <laughs> All right, but yeah, it was completely worth it to go to Dawnstar rather than directly here, right? Completely worth it. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, great, he's alive! Jesus, I can't believe it. All right, he's not alive anymore. Would send you. Oh god, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh god, he's essential. He's... Hey, hey, sorry, don't don't worry about that. Arnbeard, what's up? Hey, don't worry about that. Ah, don't worry. We all like to break the rules sometimes. Just see Nazir and pay the fine. Seems I do that at least once a month. Oh. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> hey. Ah, don't worry. We all like to Oh fuck, now he won't time. tell me his secrets. Here and pay the fine. Seems I do. I got like Morrowind expelled from this shit. Ah, don't worry. We all like to break the rules sometimes. <laughs> Just here okay, great. <laughs> Seems I do. Look, this would have been the perfect time to to kill him. You know, everybody knows he's out here. Is he alive? Is he dead? I don't know. Maybe he'll he'll still die here. Maybe he'll have like a Skyrim ass death. After his last line here, he'll be like, "Ugh!" <laughs> he'll just like ragged all all over the place. Should've figured Astrid would send you. You're hurt. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it doesn't hurt when he laughs. Just as good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where's Cicero now? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. Wait, you didn't hear him say it? How far away were you? What happened? How, how did you not hear him say it? You're right here. <laughs> did he, like, whisper it? I mean, he's not exactly, like, a quiet dude, either. Like, he's he's probably just, like, howling it all over the place. Well, listen, Arn Bjorn, I know the phrase. I'll get Cicero. You go home. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Okay. I live. Can I heal him? I'm assuming not, right? Again. Do me a favor and kill that little jester twice, just to make sure. Yeah, all right. Oh, let's go. In. Oh fuck, I don't actually remember the passphrase myself. What is life's greatest illusion? One day, you will innocence, my brother, being happily married. Dreams are reality, and reality is really a dream. Oh, hey. Hey, isn't that, uh, they're, ma they're poking fun at, uh, the whole godhead, like, super deep Elder Scrolls lore, right? The stuff that, like, the Elder Scrolls lore that's so deep and, like, so fucking wild that it doesn't even ultimately matter whether or not it's canon, <laughs> right? As far as I know... I think every Elder Scrolls story, it doesn't matter whether or not the whole dream godhead shit is real or not, right? Like, it has zero impact on anything else. It's just a weird fucking thing for, like, people who are really into lore to be like, <laughs> Yeah, godhead. <laughs> fucking chim, dude. Godhead shit. <laughs> right? As far as I know, it's had zero impact elsewhere. But who knows? In the mystical world of ESO... Maybe it has massive impact. Maybe they really get into it there, but I don't know. Anyway, innocence, my brother. Wow, okay. I guess we better go into stealth mode. That's one part I remember from this. Ooh, a fun head. It's Cicero. Lucin, it's fucking Cicero. <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? <laughs> oh, look, he's naked. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are all his clothes here? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. There is a secret position within the Dark Brotherhood. Ask yourself do you trust the wisdom of our lady? Anything else good here? I don't think so. There's a little poop bucket, too. Dunmer of Skyrim, Nords of Skyrim. Oh, look! He was reading up, trying to get, uh, learned on the area. I will kill this jester if you so desire. But there is a disturbance in the void. Our oh. dread father does not wish this. Yeah, how long have they had this ghost shit going on? Oh. 
Oh, uh, Sanctuary Guardian. Okay. Yeah, he used to be a skeletal dude, right? <laughs> Listen to him laugh. That's new, huh? Oh, it's the voice of the door, huh? Okay. I don't know. I really enjoyed the like modulation on his voice too. Sounds like he's talking to us like out of a bathroom. <laughs> like he's in the shower or something. Yeah, that's why all of his clothes are off. He's taking a shower. <laughs> he's going at us through the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Cicero, you're using up all the hot water. I remember Skyrim <laughs> from my and the glistening crimson on fields of white. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we don't need to be in stealth. No! <laughs> what a little pervert. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, little did you know, I'm like indestructible. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not indestructible at all. Oh, God. What was it that got me? Was it the pokers? I didn't think they did that much. Maybe it was the dude back here. Okay. There we go. Maybe the pokers hit me at just the right angle. I can't. Oh. Oh, God. It was a figment of my imagination. I've got the tenants up here. I guess we may as well drop these, right? I live again. Huh. How'd I get the other ones, too? How are you even meant to navigate this without uh, shit popping off? You just run around this side, or what? Is that the idea? Because I guess he could, yeah. I guess it's up to you, you know, because he could also use dragon shots and whatnot. Our dread father, as I do now. Okay, let's do a quick save. That's something I'd love to see in the future, right? We've talked about before, but I'd love to see booby traps with more consequence. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, the Spectral Assassins have power. Okay. There we go. Good. See, I think it, it's probably also telling that when Cicero attacked our sanctuary, the same thing didn't happen there, right? Like when he attacked Vizara, Spectral Guardians didn't appear or like try to kill him or whatever. Ask yourself, do you trust the wisdom of our ladies? Sure, why not? Okay, we got anything else good in here? I don't think so. Let's do a quick save. Be on our way. You're still alive. This is respects the listeners' abilities, of course, but could you at least slow down a bit? I will kill this place. Not what I used to be. So desire. I'm not what I used to be. I'm not what I used to be. Does not wish this. Oh. Oh shit. There's not one behind me, is there? Okay. Now, here's a question. When you fight them, if you choose to exterminate the Dark Brotherhood from Skyrim, if you choose to go that route and just wipe them out, then when you go to the Sanctuary, do these Guardians appear there? 
Now that's something I would be curious about. Now I've, I've never actually gone that route. Okay, over here. Anything else good or interesting? A flagon, a cooking pot. Should we cook we some salmon? We are bonded now, you and I, joined through the powers of the vo- Make some poisoned apples. There we go. Good. Okay. Well, this is clearly the route we're meant to take, so let's go a different one. Can we open this? Oh, this might be barred. It may be a loop around. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Money. Good. Always nice to have that. Let's do a quick save just in case. I remember Skyrim from my youth and the glistening crimson oh. on the fields of white. <sighs> Chili. <laughs> You'll enjoy this. Not an original part of the sanctuary per se. Let's call it a forced addition. Forced by what? Oh, come and see! I actually don't remember what the fuck this is about. Brother. Is it like Charis or something? <laughs> they just also managed to get their way up in here. I'd believe it. Well, I hear something. Oh, it's just a troll. No, oh, it's the Udafrike! So Cicero attacked the wow. Astrid. But what's a fool to do when his mother is slandered and bought? Surely the listener understands. Okay. Cool. Wow. Neat. Yeah, the Uterfrykt was the keeper is a like a position kind of a big deal in Oblivion. Did appear, I well, no, it was like the child of the Uterfrykt that appeared Trust in Oblivion, right? In Morrowind, in Solstheim, the Uterfrykt was there as well. It was a bit of a bigger deal and involved like a more powerful reward for doing the quest. Okay. I will. This jester, if you so Anything desire, else here? Oh, excuse me. But there is a disturbance in the void. Our dread father does not wish this. Oh, look at these scrolls of fireball. I guess that's useful for fighting the creature, right? Wild that the treasure chest is empty, though. What do Cicero's uh, pieces of equipment do, anyhow? Muffled and moves silently. Prices are 12% better and one-handed attacks do 12% more damage. Double sneak attack with one-handed weapons. Right, okay. Sneaking is 30% better. Didn't we find this somewhere else too? Like in Creation Club, whatever? I feel like we did. Okay. There we go. We'll drink one of them. We need to clear those out anyhow. And, of course, lest we forget, we can give a bunch of junk to... Lead on, brother. To what's her butt over here. Actually, man, maybe we should take junk off of him. If we're thinking of replacing Kosnak here. Let's get going. Let's see. Trade some stuff with you? What do you, you need to take? I don't know. Do you have anything that I need to take? Eh, you can keep all that. That's fine. Let's go. Okay. Cool. So, down this way? This is the other route, right? Yeah, this is the route Cicero took. You can see the blood. In the air. I can taste it. And then, let's go through this. Alright, now we're back in the ruins. Or in the sanctuary, I guess. Which definitely looks like repurposed ruins. You know? Whether that's intentional or just... They were short for time. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then... Pull on that. My blade 
is yours. Because it would be really wild if it were like a completely different architectural style relative to other forts and like buildings. <laughs> Yeah. Man, how did Arnbjorn not hear this dude? He's talking to me through, like, the entire dungeon. <laughs> it's like he's talking right into my brain. Look at all these coffins and stuff. They must have been other members in all that. I guess. Okay, let's do a quick save. Oh, look at this big one. I grow restless. As does my blade. Nope, oh, here we go. Ooh, look at them all. Got one. Two. And three. Whole bunch of heads here. Man. This this chapter of the Dark Brotherhood is stacked with people. If these are all former members, look at all these coffins. Oh, they're all emptied up here. Okay. Nothing the worthwhile. There is a secret position within the Dark Brotherhood. Ask yourself, do you trust the wisdom oh. of our lady? Some special treasure. Freaky dude appearing from behind. I feel like the poison or whatever this effect is is making them extra hard to see. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got? Eh, garbage. I'll take this stealing good, I guess, and we'll drink another strength something or the other. There we go. Good. Anything in these? If it's any comfort, I do feel slightly better about these are so stupid lizards out of my way. But there is a disturbance in the void. Our dread father does not wish this. <laughs> Man, if only. I tried to finish the job. I tried to do it. Look at this. Have you heard the tale? Was well, this like Matthew terrifying Bellamont looking room? And the great treachery of Jaden Hall. Kill a boy's mother and vengeance festers in the sun. Dude, this this fucking room looks like it's one of those like cartoonish old <laughs> old booby trap rooms where like the walls or the ceiling and floor close in on you to crush you. But no. It's just a creepy room with a bear and trap now, in it. We come to the end of our play. The grand The Dread Father works through me. Ooh, I automatically His work stowed my weapon. Has just begun. Thistle branch, end table here, anything? Honestly, way back when I did this the first time through, this part of the quest had so much, like, pomp and circumstance no, that I remember thinking in, like... Like, I think I must have taken a break or whatever from playing because I totally forgot about the whole Emperor situation and that we were still gonna do that. But this felt like the end of the quest arc, you know? This felt like a conclusion to the story, in a sense. I remember this room being bigger and having scarier lighting. Eh, okay. <laughs> you caught me. I surrender. I was but a speaker for the Black Hand, but you have been named listener. There is only one cure for your madness, Cicero. Me. Time to die, traitor. Remain silent. I mean, you could take this in 
a couple ways, right? There is only one cure for your madness, Cicero, me. Oh, I like that. Very good, very good. <laughs> Creative. <laughs> but killing me would be a mistake. Oh, yes. You would displease our mother. <laughs> for she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener. The keeper is a safe Walk away! Within Let poor Cicero live! Ask yourself, Tell the pretender Astrid that you, you did the job. The Stabbed, strangled, lady. drowned poor Cicero. <sighs> what did Lady Biddy lie? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. If I if I steal his shit though, do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. Uh, nothing. Okay. Well, yeah. Like I said, we'll go through this and not kill him. Right. Let's see. Can we heal him? Pray. Do well, you think this will work? Could you imagine if it did work this time? <laughs> Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. Okay. What's your secret treasure here, though? Oh, look, the skeleton fell. Um. Oh, necklace of disease immunity. Wow. Oh, I'll take it. Okay. Cool. Here we are. Great. Anything else in this room of interest? Torture tools. I feel like we've already got a whole bunch of those, right? Perhaps we should find a random stranger to murder. Practice does All right. make Well, perfect. let's head on out then. Mission accomplished. What's our uh, quest log here say? While I was away, Cicero went berserk and tried to kill Astrid. He fled the sanctuary with Arnbjorn in pursuit. I need to locate them both and then kill Cicero. Okay, well, let's leave. Like I said, I've never done this. I thought he would join us right there and then. Right, evidently he can be a follower. Oh. How the hell do I get out of here? Doesn't this withdraw? Yeah, it does. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look, it blended in with the wall. Your enemies will soon the wrath of Sithis. I do think that there's also almost a poetic nature to saving Cicero beyond, like, the secret hints and all of that. Like, if you play your character as never saying anything, right? Cicero kind of makes for the perfect buddy, like, follower and all of that. If you say nothing and then your your companion is actually like a non-stop chatterbox, you know. Okay, here we are. How should we get back? I guess we can Bellamont. Looking to hire a boat? Should we try to call for Odeving or no? Let's try to call for Odeving. Why not? Boys. Vengeance festers in the sun. And there's Odeving. Let's get Bend Will ready. Great. And then quick save again. Oh, hell. Damn. Odeving came in fast. Great. I won't drink another potion here because we need to hold up a bit. We're gonna need it back here. How can I serve you, Thuri? Good. And we can also sell off stuff back at the sanctuary too, I think. That's a good idea. We can sell some junk to Babette, right? Okay, here we are. Lovely. Now we will I have to look drink here. For a spot to land. Oh god. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. There we are. Yeah, we've got like a remarkable amount of carry weight junk. Okay, and then we need only go over this direction, right? And yeah, wild how getting to this area from a different area from like a different direction has completely thrown me off. There we are. Man, Shadowmere are just still chilling out here. Doesn't she like whoosh away when you mount and become like a spell or something? I don't even remember how it works. Okay. Down here. Ah. Hey. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yeah, he's totally dead. Yeah, Cicero is dead. Lie. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. You know, Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadow Mirror a while longer? Just what He's a fine steed, needs. and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right, so what's my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Uh -huh. Have you by chance Marie heard of the Gourmet? Dank. And Read his cookbook? It. It's become Truly quite a phenomenon. A sanctuary to call the gourmet on. is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering to the identity murder. of the gourmet. Practice you should report to him. Okay. All right, great. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Sure. Huh. Now, which book was it that's tied into the gourmet? I know I wanted to kind of save it for this. Isn't it? It's uncommon taste, isn't it? Lead, and I will follow. Do I even have it on me? I may even have it. No, I, I do not. Of darkness. I think it's in here, though, somewhere. Brother? Guess I'm not sure, though. Oh, uh, hey, we can check back up here. There. What do you want, Beef Roast? No, oh, no, nothing. <laughs> Damn, you just sit here in a pool of your own, like, like, I don't know, solidifying blood, coagulating blood. Life is simple and good. Greetings, brother. Uh, nothing. Say you earned your bonus on that one. I'm the perfect weapon. My innocent child is for My blade is yours. Poison or a good bite usually takes care of the rest. Okay, Festus, what's up? There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Festus, My you took your dear sweet time sauce. doing nothing? You worthless piece of shit. You didn't do anything. How do you even know I killed him? Hmm? <laughs> that I need to know that I need to kill him and take on his identity. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman for all the we know. Father works through me. So you don't even know who the gourmet is. Wonderful. Do you have any idea how I might find out? Remain silent. So you don't even know who the gourmet is? Wonderful. Don't be so petulant. In my uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. And the Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. God, I hope he's not dead. <laughs> and this Anton Varan knows the gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the gourmet really is, and where he can be found. 
Oh, and when you're done with Varan, then kill him. Festers in the Loose sun. ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Of course, Festus. Please continue. Oh, I'm waiting with bated breath. Remain silent. We Why did they have that line? Can they only, like, say so many lines without the player needing to interact with the conversation or what? Huh. You know what? I'm actually not going to say <laughs> I'm going to remain silent for this one. Huh. As I was saying, <laughs> you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more? You need to get his writ of passage you so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, through hide his body. The, void. the longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Too bad when you eat people, you can't just, like, eat them entirely. You know? <laughs> like, there's nothing left. <laughs> uh, wh what else can you tell me about the gourmet? Tell me about this cookbook. Killing the gourmet. So the gourmet is in Skyrim. Hey, what happens as well if you kill the gourmet and then turn them into ash? Does that count? Hmm. Maybe we'll have to mess around a bit. Uh, what else can you tell me about the gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. <laughs> You've already taken care of him. Yes. Why didn't we plan well, for this? The, <laughs> the fuck? Why didn't? Why did we kill him first, son? <laughs> Why'd you have me kill him? <laughs> So, that's where he must yes. have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Oh my gosh. Well, tell me about this cookbook. Uncommon taste. Yeah. It was published I a few years ago. It. it became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to regard. die for. Regard! But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Eat on, brother. Poopy Festus. So the gourmet is in Skyrim? Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. He kept the gourmet around in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion somewhere in Skyrim on indefinite hold probably feels like a prisoner <laughs> but you'll fix that mm. <laughs> remember the markov keep that's where you'll find anton varan probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes passing them off as his own all right well i suppose we'll end things here but if you would like to stick around We'll read on Common Tastes a special signed copy, which should have also an extra note. Okay. Let's see. There we are. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink here. Sorry. All right. On Common Taste, signed. To my old and dear friend, Anton. Oh, no, wait, yeah. Well, we don't we don't know, I guess, technically the identity of them, right? Yeah, <laughs> because if I gave them a voice, it would really give it away, right? It, it would... <laughs> so I guess we've kind of already seen... Well, uh, to my old and dear friend, Anton, I will never forget the kindness you and the entire Varan family paid to me when I visited High Rock those many years ago. We were both young, impetuous, and foolish, and those were dangerous times for us all. But we knew, even then, as we surely know now, that our battlefield is the kitchen, our sword the spoon, our enemy, hunger. And now, thanks to your guidance and friendship, I can share our love of Breton cuisine with all of Tamriel. For this cookbook is not just a collection of recipes, but the sum total of my life's work, and a testament to the power of of passion, your friend in food, the gourmet. 
Uncommon taste by the gourmet. Congratulations. By opening this volume, you have taken the first step on a truly epic journey. A voyage through the vast landscape of Breton food and its myriad joys and wonders. You will explore scents, flavors, and textures so exquisite they will seem impossible. But they are more than possible. And right, this of course fits into like the characterization of Breton culture of uh, drawing a lot of inspiration from real life like francophone culture. Right, it's very like French, right? Which is you know regularly regarded as having like oh what a delightful cuisine, ho 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 ratatouille. You have a little rat on your head, anyway. Indeed, by following the carefully selected recipes presented in this cookbook, you will prepare extraordinary dishes with such ordinary ease. Those around you will suspect sorcery, but the only magic is that which exists in your own heart, the passion you possess for creating delicious, amazing food that can be prepared easily and enjoyed endlessly. Start here, and someday you too can be a gourmet. Sunlight souffle. Ingredients. Two and a half ounces cow's cheese. One ounce butter, one ounce flour, nine ounces milk. Holy cow. A dash of salt, a dash of pepper, a cup of ground nutmeg. Maybe nine ounces of milk is normal for a souffle. I don't know. I've never made, let alone even eaten, a souffle. Recipe. Stoke the flames of your oven and achieve a moderate heat. Grate the cheese into thin shavings by running a finely honed elven dagger over the block. Separate the egg whites from the yolks and beat the whites vigorously until they thicken. Begin preparation of this signature sunshine sauce. Melt the butter and add in the flour while stirring continuously until well blended. Move the mixture to a smaller flame and begin gently stirring in the milk. It is crucial that you do not stop stirring. Continue to do so for 10 minutes until the mixture thickens. Then, and only then, will the sunshine sauce be considered ready. Add the salt and pepper and nutmeg and and remove from the flame. Add in the grated cheese and then the yolk, the egg yolks. Stir well until fully blended. Then gently add in the egg whites with a spoon made of carved hickory wood. Gently pour the mix into four stonework souffle dishes, filling each nearly, but not quite, to the top. Put the dishes in your moderately hot oven and shut that door. Keep sealed for 25 minutes or your scrumptious suns w will rise, only to fall down into the oven's abyss. Remove after 25 minutes and serve immediately. Behold, the brilliance of the sun and the exquisite flavor of the sunshine souffle. Hmm. Do they specify what kind of eggs? No. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Am I mi Am I misreading this? Look at this. Under the ingredients, it doesn't even say eggs. And then all of a sudden, where it says recipe, it's like, yeah, separate the egg whites. What fucking eggs? What are you talking about? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, it doesn't say to have eggs. Are one of these things actually eggs? In the mystical world of the Elder Scrolls, does one of these actually mean egg? <laughs> Mind you, we haven't ever found any nutmeg in this game. Maybe that's a type of egg, right? <laughs> okay. Potage le magnifique. Wouldn't that be la... Because isn't, yeah, when you, when you have La ahead of Magnifique, maybe not though. All right. Ingredients. Four cups chicken broth, four cups beef broth, two and a half ounces butter, one wooden flagon of flour, one cup diced carrots, a half cup diced onions. Recipe. 
Stoke the flames of your open pit fire and achieve a low heat. Combine all ingredients into a large soup pot. Stir vigorously. Once hot, pour into earthen soup bowls immediately. Behold, the gourmet signature dish, the potage le magnifique. But wait, I know what you're wondering. <laughs> That's it? Is that all there is to it? What's the secret of the gourmet? Do you really expect me to give away the secret to my most popular dish? Yeah, you didn't even tell me about the eggs earlier. Well, guess what? I will! For that secret, my friends, is you. That's right. The potage le magnifique is delicious and extraordinary. Using just the simple ingredients listed, you will create a potage that is both hearty and delicious. But in order to make the potage le magnifique truly magnificent, it takes the imagination of a truly inspired chef. Do you have that gift? Sign up for my master class. <laughs> I've, I've served bowls of the potage le magnifique that have caused grown men to weep with joy. Can you guess what I added? Can you create magic? Yeah, if anything, I'm surprised that so many of these ingredients are mundane. Like, we're out here cooking soup with fucking fire salts and shit. And this dude is just like, yeah, some diced carrots. I'm probably eating all sorts of weird shit, you know? I mean, I mean, fuck, like, Lord knows I certainly am, because <laughs> given, given Dunmer, right? Like, when they say eggs, well, no, whoops, do they mean chicken eggs or quama eggs, you know? <laughs> whoops, dumped a whole bunch of bugs inside of this food. everyone. <laughs> oh. Well, except for that one you kept alive to serve as witness. Does your wickedness or your scheme, my listener, no bounds? Hmm. Been a while since I've actually cleaved someone in two. Oh gosh. Got out hard <laughs> to get the scimitar back out. <laughs> All right. Well, the love dog seems to agree. I don't know if you heard her. I think she heard something outside, but she thinks it's also time to finally call the video. All right. When next we come back, we're gonna track down the gourmet. Until next time, please take care of each other.